intervene on? We got my monster. We got a little olive over here. Can't see her. But Ian's baby. Oh yeah, my girl. Oh, you look like you're being tortured. I love you. Okay. You done with me out here? All right, let's kick this off. Yes, question number one. Welcome. Well, I am Babu. Where are we? I am the interviewer. You're interviewing. I'm not interviewing. Okay. Well, let's start it off. Okay. Who are you? Well, I'm, I'm Ian, and I live in a gallery uh, in Hessler. Mm -hmm. It's called Underground Gallery because half of it's underground. And uh, yeah, built into a hill, so that's always fun. And this is some of your masterpieces. Yes, these are some of my most recent canvases. Working on new style, new paint, bright colors. Nice. Did you grow up? Big of Galt, uh, Cambridge, Ontario. Uh, yeah. I had, uh, two brothers and supportive parents, and did some public school learning mm -hmm. up to uh, college. I went to school for graphic design in Toronto. And I graduated. <laughs> I did. I made it. I took a little bit, but I made it. You got that piece of paper. I got it. I got distracted a lot by the Toronto. You're an academic. I am. I have a piece of papers. I don't know where it is actually. Mm -hmm. It's got to be on the line somewhere. It's not right. Okay. Somewhere in the ether. Yep. Um, so when you were growing up, what were your creative activities or outlets? Always yeah, 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 yeah. Always coloring. Always drawing. Always crafts. Always building stuff. Building bikes, building ramps, building playhouses, building, you know, tree houses, mm -hmm. everything. Working since like a young age, you mm -hmm. know. When did you start skateboarding? Oh, skateboarding? Uh, for eight, I don't know. 11 or 12? 11? Yeah. Around there. My brother had one of them old uh, single tail boards. I took it. And then I got it ruined. <clears throat> did you. Uh, through the skate scene, you know, did the music and the culture influence you? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Well, the skate scene had a lot of like punk music and punk mentality, and I really enjoyed that kind of screw the establishment mentality. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't really have a big establishment to screw, I found some along the way since then. But as a kid, I was very, you know, had fun with that. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So were you uh, like through like the the skate scene? Did you start your like art? Yeah, pretty person. much the same kind of thing, a skate scene, art scene, just, you know, at skate spots, painting on walls that you're not supposed to, doing stencils, and just learning how spray paint works that way. So how did you learn? Just by doing. Yeah? Yep. Did you... I got, like, more guidance and stuff along the way from different artists, and but, you know, starting out, it was just trial and error. Was there a crew of you guys, or just... Not at the beginning, no, it was just me. Yeah? Fooling around, and then I met some more other artists in Toronto while I was there, and... That's the morning when I moved back to town here. Nice. What else I got on my book here? What is in your notes? We can always cut out sections too. We can talk on like normal, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Is that editing is great. I think we should. Yeah, that's great. I like that. That yeah. was great. So like, you started off like uh, graffitiing. Did you move into other art forms? Has graffitiing always been the primary? All kinds of art forms. Doing canvases, doing uh, drawing a little bit. Um, yeah, just kind of that regard. Do a lot of graphic design, a lot of sign design, a lot of like uh, interior design for like businesses and restaurants. So yeah, and I guess we should add your occupation, your trade. Is yeah, I'm a graphic, graphic designer, designer working at a sign shop. Yeah, so it's always been illuminated there. and unilluminated signage. So nice. It's just fun. Just claiming visual space. That's what I really like working with. Whether it's in like my hobbies or my my passions or my career. It's changing visual spaces. And um, did you end up, like, I think you told me before you used to teach and do like a, a few. I have done some classes. classes. So like, there's like somewhere. day classes. I did like a couple week class once for uh, the city of Cambridge. Mm -hmm. There was, uh, it was like just different sections and like doing hand, like drawing and then moving up to doing full scale murals. But uh, I like doing those, they're very time consuming and you gotta find the right kind of dedicated people that wanna learn. Yeah, a bunch of ladders too, right? Yep, lot to learn. Art, steep, steep learning curve. Nice. Um, so your art gallery, how did that come into conception? 
So originally you used it to like your car mechanic type stuff or was it always like a workshop? Mm, I've been in this spot for 13 years mm -hmm. and I bought it uh, 13 years ago and started renovating at that time and just cleaning things out and re kind of jigging the areas and, and changing what was considered a non-conforming duplex into a workable living space and studio space and a showcase space as well. So it's been like an different game. element. It's been like a gallery at one point and turned into like a total workshop to based on this project we're working on or whatever. So it's been kind of really fluid. Yeah, but true. now it's more of a, a, a passion to get it, to share my art and other people's art. Yeah, that's sweet. Something to bring back in the community that wasn't here before. Yep, yep. There's a lot of support in the community for a lot of murals and outdoor visual arts, but there's not a lot of funding and, well, money to put behind. Yeah. Artists. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that, that brings us to the main event. Um, yeah, it's the show. The reason why we're doing this interview is to promote the first show. <laughs> Strangers. Strangers. Yeah. Yes, you're a, you were a stranger. We were all strangers at one point. You were a very strange stranger when I first met you. I was the strangest. Yeah, pretty strange. But you become like a total best friend. You know? Friend, yeah. yes. Yeah. I love your dog. Thank you, man. Um, but yeah, the concept of the show was Strangers. Yes, it was April 20th. Yes. Saturday, 6 to 10. Yep. Uh, no alcohol, weed friendly. Yep. Who are the artists and how did you come up with this concept? Um, kind of came up with the concept when uh, I realized after weed was legalized, there were no more kind of events for like-minded people to kind of go, because we used to go to protests, you know, at Victoria Park or a March in Toronto or, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll kind of hang out and say, you know what, there's a lot of like-minded people and you get to see and meet new people. But once it was kind of legalized, it became everybody a little bit afraid to share that they enjoyed it and afraid to get out and what the, you know, what you could do. Yeah. And there was no more protest because we legal. That we wanted. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be a great opportunity to try and uh, support uh, alternative uh, vices, you know, and have a, a gallery show that has no alcohol, no wine, no, you know, hors d'oeuvres. It's just uh, an art show that's all about the artists and you know, give a place to people where it's, you know, friendly if you are high and stoned and whatever and come in and check out the art and enjoy. And it's not a place to get, you know, fucked up. It's a place to, to experience something different and yeah, see something giving different. Giving people a place to, that are passionate about being creative and yep. art forms. Yep. It's coming to hang out, man. Yep. Right? Because we didn't have that shit growing up at nope. all nope. in Hassler. Nope. So we got into a lot of trouble. Yeah, you do. And, you know, you find like-minded people that may uh, not be having your best interest at heart. So mm -hmm. we're here trying to do uh, as much as we can for the community and provide opportunities for artists to, to share their work because the city is, is cutting back on arts funding, the region's cutting yeah. back, the government's cutting back. and it, They're not going to come back stronger, so we have to come back at the issue smarter, where we're doing smaller shows, more compact shows, more artists in a small space just to have more build and have more of a community. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> you also have music um, and poetry going Yes, the well. musician you found. Tell me about him. How did you meet this guy? Uh, so he's a really great guitar player. Um, Dan Sobers, uh, I go to LA Fitness Gym and we just met at the gym. Um, in the sauna, I usually play some Meditation music, but I also play some, you know, rock and roll and blues. And I was playing uh, a Stevie Ray Vaughan song, Little Wing. He was covering the Jimi Hendrix one. And we just, he was there. He's like, ah, oh, man, is that Hendrix? That's fucking awesome. And we just connected on blues and guitar. Yeah. Found out he's a really great fucking guitar player. Yep. He has his own YouTube channel. Um, and he actually took a little bit of a break from playing and doing shows. Opportunity came up. I asked him, and he's down. And he's yeah. going to be playing. That's amazing. Yeah, all acoustic kind of set. Should yeah, really uh, if you go to YouTube and I guess Dan Sober's music. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, like, like fucking verse 
next level like prodigy is really good to get. Yeah. There's a surprise visitor. <laughs> Alright. Oh man! He's coming in the shot. Oh. Nothing ever goes according to plan. We'll fix it. Good. The red and the white was nice. Okay. We're just talking about Dan Sobers, a musician, amazing acoustic guitar musician. Should be fun to see. He's very different, very unique, very theatrical, very yeah, and visual he, he's as good. a guitarist. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing him play. Yeah. Um, and we have a poet. Yes. Uh, my cousin is actually a poet, and I knew it. And what is your cousin's name? Megan, mm -hmm. and she's an amazing poet. And I had uh, messaged her online and said, do you want to do this? And I said, do you want to have a show? You know, a 420 art show, bunch of artists, musicians, and I want to have a space for, for poets, because when else do we have poets? Of course. And, and we don't. So I said, you know, let's do it. So she said she was in, mm -hmm. and then we had a family event. And my other cousin Megan came and said, Did you know you asked me on Facebook to come? And I said, Oh, I messaged the wrong Megan. So hopefully we have two Megan Cools, because there is two. They're going to be doing some poetry. Very different people, very di really neat people, different point of views in life. Two cousins, same name. Same last name. Both are going to be hopefully doing the poetry. Okay, but Megan is spelled different. Okay. That's how we keep them apart. When you say it, it doesn't... They're both Megan, so... It's one's a... Yeah. So that's a fun little happenstance of the poetry of this. I always like poetry and spoken word, and, and so I want to include that in that, in our showcase, you know. Nice. Um, do you want to talk about the relationship uh, with the artists that are featured? Yeah, I just want to go over to the artists that are going to be there, artists that I've met uh, for throughout past few years really mm -hmm. just traveling and meeting new people and getting involved with mural projects and uh the first one is dan burton and he's always been around and and been involved in mural projects we used to go to toronto and have art shows at the rivoli and just had a lot of fun with that guy and a lot of different shows and we had one recently mm -hmm. it was in the fall the fall and winter there in uh, kitchener that he had put on and it was amazing and then ended up meeting more artists and making more connections through that show. And, and I just ended up talking to him and I said, I need to do it. I need to, you know, be in, in showcasing people. And so I needed him there and he's, he's down. Uh, there's an artist named Tola, which I met this past year in, she lives in uh, Goddard and is doing murals up there. So new artist, new style, new mentality, and I like it. So I'm excited for, for her to showcase her work here as well. And then Yachts, the old Yachts, I like him, he's a good dude, good friend, good graffiti artist, uh, partner in crime. Yeah, all around good dude. Uh, yeah, it's good for him to showcase more of his work, and I hope everybody has a chance to, to meet him too, you know. That's AKA a, Seth. That's, 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 a, that's a, a thing, you know, on its own is meeting these artists, not just seeing their work. Mm -hmm. uh, then my buddy Tom Toner has been a good friend and confidant for a long time, an amazing artist and a, a technical artist to the T. And uh, good guy. His work's always downtown in our graffiti alley. And Dimitri Dinka was a guy that I met through uh, some Kitchener shows. And uh, great guy, great stencil artist. Very, you know, ingenious way to use, uh, you know, spray paint and how he does it. And it's, it's a hell of a style, man. I love it. And it looks good. And I'm excited to, to work with him on some stuff coming up, too, and see what we can come up with. But he'll be at the show showcasing his work. And my buddy Patrick, Patrick Phillips. Everybody knows Patrick around yeah, Asper. Yeah, our local hero. They like him, and he does good stuff. And uh, he's got some large pieces in the show, mm -hmm. and uh, it should be really fun to to see what else he comes up with. Nice. Um, what are your expectations of uh, the show? I'd like the whole street just lined with people <laughs> trying to get in. You know, you have to actually do like a circle where they, you know, you can't even fit one in, one out. Yeah. But you know, I just want I want to share the art with everybody. You know, it's it's a free show to come to come to. And, you know, it's just a chance for everybody to, to make new connections, make good connections, make positive, you know, uh, happenings in the community. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sounds like uh, at the very least. You're putting yourself out there, right? Yep. Yeah. And you have a great, 
collective group of artists. It's a support group. And you yourself, you're included in this support group and, and you know, helping each other out. Sounds like uh, we're in some sort of program, all re rehabilitating each other. Uh, programs called life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Strangers that become friends that support each other. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Well, that's it. Cool. Good ending. I think that's end of the segment. Get everything we need. Yeah. We can always do another. We can do a thousand. I don't want to do a thousand. Yeah. <laughs>